Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you are someone who enjoys talking about film, how about clicking that subscribe button? So today we're gonna to be talking about I'm thinking of ending things. <laughs> So I'm thinking of ending things is a Netflix original. It is rated R. It is considered a hard drama. It is two hours and 41 minutes long. Came out on Netflix September the 4th. It is directed by Charlie Kaufman and it is adapted from the book of the similar name. There's absolutely no horror involved in this movie. I guess it the horror of it would be the harsh state of mind. It is a very, I guess, disturbing type of movie. I'm gonna let you guys know off the bat right now, this movie is definitely not for everybody. It most definitely not for everybody. It is definitely one of those movies that you really have to like think about and like really process. And I saw it last night and I haven't stopped thinking about it. I'm not gonna lie, because I did not get it. it. Really went over my head. I feel like I'm just too stupid for this damn movie. I've never read the book or listened to the book in my case, because yeah, I know I'm I'm a fan of audible books, which I'm definitely gonna be, you know, listening to it after this. I had to see one of the um ending explained videos to really kind of explain what the fuck i just watched so the video that i only saw once so the video that i did check out i'm gonna put that video down in the description box the one that really helped me kind of put a lot of pieces uh together that you know we're all scattered in my puzzle this is going to be a spoiler free review for the most part i may give a little things here and there i'm gonna try to give the non-relevant things well I feel like everything in this movie really is relevant. Really, 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 really need to pay attention to everything that's going on. You have to keep an eye out for these like Easter eggs. It wasn't just me, but my sister was also very confused. And I'm also gonna say right now that the movie is super disturbing in a way that it made us uncomfortable. I have never, ever had a movie make me feel this uncomfortable, or nor my sister. When I tell you how fidgety we were throughout this whole movie, my sister, I don't know what the fuck she was doing. But at one point she was, in a weird ass position looking at what the fuck is going on i didn't even see her move position and i turned around and i'm like what the fuck is wrong with you like her head was here her legs were over here this movie definitely is open to interpretation i, I feel like everybody's gonna take something different from the movie which is absolutely beautiful and brilliant of something that kaufman actually really did very well because i don't feel like there could be a, a wrong answer of how you took it which is something that they kind of point out within the movie about um, art and abstract art. Everybody feels and looks at things differently. Again, I don't want to get into any kind of spoilers, but at the very end of this review, I may end up giving like my own interpretation of what I took from it. And I'll make sure to put like a spoiler deal, you know, coming up before I do that. I do follow the young woman and Jake, Jake from State Farm. I keep calling him Jake from State Farm. And these two actors are absolutely great. Um, and I call her young woman because throughout the film, her name does change like there's no consistency with everything that's being told within the movie but it's almost like a subtle thing where it doesn't fully catch it but your brain does and that makes sense in a way and but I, I don't really feel like i'm explaining that right this movie is definitely a psychological thriller it really does fuck with your mind throughout the movie you're just like wait a minute wasn't she wearing something else didn't she have her hair kind of differently but it's kind of really like subtle changes that you're like, wait, did I really see it that way or, or or not? Again, you stuff that you really, really have to pay attention. Now, the first like 20 minutes of the movie, we are just confined to a car. We are basically on a road trip. Um, Lucy, which is the name that we actually get introduced to her first, is going to take parents for the first time. Um, who do live out in the farm. Throughout the movie, we do hear her say, I'm thinking of ending things. And obviously she's uh, talking about her relationship with Jake. Now, when I first saw the title of the movie i'm not gonna lie just because of the poster that it was i assumed that it was about her thinking about ending her life and not her thinking about ending her relationship with her boyfriend now when we do get to the farmhouse that we do get introduced to mother and father they are portrayed by tony collette and, and by david 12th yeah i don't know how horrible i am now i did forget to say that the main characters are jesse Plemons, who does play jake who you may know from breaking bad and jesse puckley who plays the young woman or lucy however you want to you know call her in this case now the parents are very weird they're very strange <laughs> there's certain aspects to age and time that is involved a lot within this movie and when they do get to the farmhouse there is a very disturbing scene mind you there's nothing really that you're seeing 
But when Jake is describing, the, well, you know, there were these two pigs that basically were being eaten alive by maggots. You, you never saw the pigs, but the way that he delivered that particular line, I literally saw these pigs with maggots that whole pig situation just kind of like is embedded in my mind and there's also this dog that's just constantly like you know shaking and later on at the end of the movie we do realize what's going on with the damn dog again the movie is just so complex it's it, it, it's brilliant to be honest with you in my opinion and i really 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 hope that if you watch it just stick with it now the film itself does have some really really beautiful shots like really really stunning shots so this is my spoiler alert right here you guys i didn't want to put this into the first part but we do get another character involved which is the janitor i first saw him like the first few uh seconds that i did see him i was just like i bet you that's jake that has to be older version of him now we are basically in jake's memories or his subconscious however you want to put it whatever your interpretation is of the film one of the things that apparently was very clear in the book that was not clear in the movie well to me it wasn't clear i mean he I, he did give me mental illness he had something going on but i didn't know what but in the book apparently it is very clear that he does have schizophrenia like i was saying at the first part of the of the review the clothing changes the names change you know the way that they even met change because apparently all this was not real this was all in his imagination he's almost kind of making everything up as he goes and sometimes even when you are telling the story you may not remember everything that's a lot of uh, things that happen within the movie with the whole name change of lucy she goes through again four different things so it's kind of like well i don't really remember her name i don't remember really what she was wearing because in fact you know he never actually made the move um on her this more so could be interpreted as what he wish would have happened if he had basically had the balls to have gone up to this girl the, now the way that the parents age change throughout their visit and it is the way that it doesn't actually phase her it kind of makes sense because again it's all in his mind and he is writing everything up he is trying to figure out i guess a way where to kind of place the girlfriend the girlfriend of his dreams into the situation that is his parents like where would be the best time of their lives to really introduce her to at the end when he does give that speech where he's winning the nobel prize in his high school mind you this is the school that you know he obviously was not very popular he was lame so to kind of have him go back to that high school you know to accept his nobel prize win you know of course in his mind this would be the perfect thing to kind of showcase to his fellow peers or his former fellow peers in front of the stage that's decorated as the play oklahoma or the musical oklahoma which is his favorite musical which does make an impact throughout the, the film honestly the sad thing about it i could totally relate to a lot of things that you know they were saying within the movie like i even told Desiree, like it was really early on within the movie when they were just talking about loneliness and like not really having somebody and i was just like wow like that's like totally me like and, and i feel like a lot of people can totally relate to this not like in a sad way i mean i guess you could take it as a sad way but the fact that it kind of like spoke to me that way like that, now back to that speech apparently that speech that he was giving was actually verbatim to the speech i was giving from the movie a beautiful mind which was a movie that was involved in his stack of you know books and movies and it just kind of circles back to a conversation jake and lucy were having in the car when they were getting to the farm um when he said from a lifetime of watching movies you know we can confuse what really is reality and what is you know fiction one other thing that i did really think about was you know is he like really psychotic like is he trying to kill lucy because there was a situation with this door and scratches i mean jake did say that it was a dog that did it oh the dog the dog was actually dead you guys i did see on that bookshelf I did see a little urn with the picture of the dog there so the dog technically wasn't even there but again because we were in his mind and he did let lucy know that the scratches were in fact due to a dog you know so he had to of course incorporate a dog into coincide with what's going on there you know at some point i did think maybe none of this is real you know i didn't really go to that extent of we're in jake's mind but i just was like this may not be real and again you guys this movie is fully open to interpretation i feel like so many people will get so much out of this i totally totally recommend it i'm actually gonna give it a large popcorn even though it is very confusing i thought it was so so good you guys overall you guys i'm thinking of indian things it's just such a beautiful complicated ancient filled stressful 
complicated, sad, depressing movie that Kaufman made, made here. I mean, I cannot stress enough. I totally recommend it if you're up for the journey. This movie is going to be one that's going to stick with me for so long. Now these are all my thoughts on I'm thinking of ending things. If you've seen the movie, what did you guys think about the jacket? Did you love it? you hate it? Was it just not for you? Have you read the book or listened to the book if you're like an audible lover like me? Let me know down below. Of course, let me know your theories. Um, If you've never seen it, or you plan on seeing it now, it is definitely a watch, but again, it's not for everybody, so I understand if you plan on passing on it. Also, I didn't go into this review thinking I'm going to be changing like I did, uh, but somehow when I started talking about it and talking about the changes, I was like, you know what? I think that'd be fun. It'd be a little extra. But I Hope you guys enjoyed it did you catch it right off the bat i did want to end it with something blue because if i recall correctly the last coat that she had was blue so i just want to kind of again just a little homage to to it before you guys click out of this video don't forget to give it a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time i post something new till next time i'll see you guys at concession bye